Hello, my name is Klein Sander Janius, and today we are going to be reading XML file with C Sharp in a very short and simple tutorial. We are going to use XML document. What are we going to cover? The first tutorial will use XML document class, very easy to use, and that is why it is the first one. The second one will be XML reader. Then the next one will be X document, which is actually uh, more recent and is recommended then the latest uh, way to read XML file will be to use a link query. Then we have to also in tutorial 5 display XML on a grid view on a list box. Then the next one we search through an XML file for a value. This will be very easy tutorial. So please subscribe if you've not done so. Just click on the subscribe button so that when I make the next video you'll get notified. If you have an observation, leave it in the comment box. All right, let's get started. I'm going to close this. But before I do that, uh, I'd like to tell you about a few things. Take note that we have XML root element represent the root element of XML. Anyway, let's just open Visual Studio and get started. So go and start a new project. Start a new project. I'm going to call this project XML Tutorial. XML Tutorial. Let's make it a Windows console, appli a console application. Okay, so now let's get started. Remember, I told you we are going to use XML documents. So the first thing you are going to do, let me increase the size of this. The first thing you are going to do is to declare a new XML document. And how do you do it? Just say XML. Okay, sorry. Just go to say I'm using system.xml. Okay, and that will be fine. So what you do, you declare a new XML document. XML document. Let's call it DOC equal to new XML document. I think this is the first step and I think it's very easy for you to see. The next thing you are going to do is to load an XML file into this document. How do you do that? You simply say doc.load. Okay, so and then you specify a file name. I'm going to tell you what you do for you to get a new XML file. Alright, so for now we don't have any file. So I'm going to create a new XML file. That is what you are going to do too. So just right click on your project and say add new item. This time choose XML. Go down and choose XML file. So let me call it book because it's going to be a list of books. So this is what it is for now. So if you want, you can go ahead to write, uh, create a new XML uh, document and so on. But I already have some XML uh, data I would like to just copy and paste here. This data, I will leave it in the description box. So if you go down in the description box, remember to subscribe, I'm going to remind you. In the description box, you see a link uh, to this uh, data. So this is the data we are going to use. So now, this is the data. So just go ahead to copy, copy everything in there. Remember, don't copy the first item, the first item which is the version. But if you are going to copy, then it means you are going to replace it, replace it in this place. So just paste it there. Okay, just adding some of this. Okay, so let me go ahead to remove all of this because it's not necessary. Okay, so if you have your XML file, so you can go ahead to save it. Let me delete some items so that it will be easier.
All right, so no, okay. So at this point, we have all right. So just go ahead to save it. So I'm going to close. So the name is books.xml. So at this point, I'm going to enter books.xml. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do now, the next thing I'm going to do now is to now I trade through the document. But before I do that, I'm going to view to check if this document actually loaded. So I'm going to put a breakpoint here and then run this program. So if we are successful, we'll see that the document will actually be loaded. Okay, so it tells us uh, file not found. Okay, so if you have this kind of problem, this is what you are going to do to solve it. Go ahead to stop the program. So what you are going to do in, in the XML file, just right click on it and look at the properties. I think the properties box is already open. So from here you have copy to output directory. Change it from do not copy to copy always. If you change it to copy always, at this point I'm sure we'll be able to read or to view this file in our program. So at this point it's running. Now we have this doc, which is an XML file. So if I drill down here, I could see, um, okay, let's just look at, um, I would like, yeah, I would like you to first understand that document element means the, the root node of this document. And secondly, let me just open this in XML. It doesn't make any sense for now. Um, but okay, so okay, so now so you have a whole lot of things here. So let's okay. But now it doesn't make sense. But let's try to do something now. The next thing we are going to do is to now. I trade through the element. So can just say for each uh, XML node node because I want to iterate through all the nodes in doc dot document dot dot child nodes. I'm going to explain this to you. Uh, right now All right remember I told you that document element represents the root node this document element represents the root node document element presents the root node all right so in our file we have only one document element and that is catalog so this catalog is the root node, there's only one of them, the, the opening one and the closing one. So it means that every other thing inside this file is a child of this root node, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm defining XML nodes, all the nodes in this file dot root node dot all the childs. So for the root node, I'm going to get all the child nodes. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a breakpoint. Let's run it and see what the child node has there. So I'm going to click on start and now let's look at this child node. Okay, so now you can see count eight. If I click on this place and I click on results, you can see all the results are displayed there. Alright, so So, all right. So now we are now going to iterate through this uh, document element, child nodes. So for each of these nodes, let's try to see the data we can get from there. 
So what I'm going to do now, I'll say console dot write line. Let's try to write node dot inner text. Okay. Dot. Okay. Let's say inner text. I don't know exactly what it is, but for now, let's just run it and see what the output is going to be for the inner text of this node. So, let's put console dot reach one. Okay. Sorry. Dot inner XML dot value. Dot inner XML. Okay, so so note dot inner XML. That is what we are going to work with. So now uh, everything is jump up in one line. But let me explain what is happening to you. Oh, not sure we can continue like this. Let me place a breakpoint so that we can look at the inner XML. So let's place a breakpoint here. Oh, sorry, I, I got it wrong. This read line has to be outside the node. All right, so at this point, if I place a breakpoint here and run this program, you see, okay, it actually displays, as you can see. So, display uh, the document on the output but not well formatted so let's exit from here so at this point inner xml gets the value of the uh, this node that is the, the child node of this particular node okay Okay, so hold on, let's try to do something. Okay, so. okay, so let's put a breakpoint here and run the program again. Alright, so let's see. Now, child nodes, uh, okay. So at this point, let's look at first the inner XML contains okay auto slash auto title slash title and so on. That is for just one. So let me explain what is happening to you. So the, the nodes that inner XML contains a piece of data. But since it's not formatted in the right way, we cannot see it. So, what we are going to do now, we can actually, after displaying one, we can just say console dot uh, console dot write line. Okay, so. Uh, Let's write a number of lines before it displays the second item. Alright, so at this point, let's assume that I place uh, some values here to separate one line from the other one. Alright, so if I run this program, you see that it separates one of them from the okay all right I don't know why it's uh, placing everything in the same line okay. okay I think Okay, 
So, all right. I think I think let's let's get something clay for now. Let me end this tutorial. I'm going to start it in the next part. For now, take note of how to load uh, data, how to iterate through the elements, and how to display data. Remember to click on the subscribe so that you get notified when I make new videos. Thank you.